Hi there. So now that we've completed our study of Oedipus Rex, it is time to prepare for the midterm. So our midterm exam covers everything we've read so far. That means the Analects of Confucius, the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu, poems by Sappho. We read poems number one, 31 and 94. The ancient Egyptian poems, My God, My Lotus, and I Wish I Were Her Nubian Maid. And the poetry from India. Remember, we had a poem by Bhava Kadevi, a poem by Vidya, and then two poems by Bhada Tihari. And that's all in addition to the play Oedipus Rex by Sophocles. So out of all those texts, on the midterm, there are a total of 16 questions. 15 of those are multiple choice or true false questions. And there's an essay question. So the test is also timed. The test has, um, is for 75 minutes. After 75 minutes, it will submit automatically. So for the essay question on the exam, remember, I'm looking for a full essay. So you want an introduction paragraph, a body paragraph, at least one, and a brief conclusion paragraph. The introduction paragraph should also have a thesis statement. You need to state your main idea at the beginning of the essay. And then you want to also make sure you use good evidence from the reading to support your thesis statement. And use that obviously in the body of the essay. You also have a choice of three questions. So remember, you only have to choose one to write about. So to prepare for the midterm, there's a few things you can do. First, go back and read over the discussion boards. Read the questions that I posted and look over what the other, what you and your other classmates responded. Also, look at what I posted on the discussion board, too, in response to your replies. So that will help you recall the text and also recall the important aspects of the text that you want to remember for the midterm exam. Also, review the new vocabulary words. Now, some vocabulary words I have not presented a, a, an official definition, like lyric poem. Lyric poem, that's just a short poem that talks about emotions and impressions. One such type of lyric poem is the love poem. So remember what we talked about the love poem. The love poem has a beloved. You should know what that word means. That's the object of affection, the person that the poet is in love with. Um, the love poem also has expressions of emotion and desire for the beloved. Review the word tragedy. What goes into a tragedy? What does that mean? Also look over the discussion on a tragic hero. That's an important thing to know for the midterm exam. Also, in the links where we study Oedipus Rex, in the modules, I should say, where we study Oedipus Rex, make sure you look closely at the links. There's important information there. In Oedipus Rex Part 2, I ask you to use some of that information in your discussion board responses. It's important to remember what Aristotle says about tragedy. Remember, he says that tragedy has a hero that we look up to who makes a crucial mistake and ends up experiencing a reversal of fortune, meaning his luck goes from good to really bad. And then the audience, in response to seeing that, they have the emotions of pity and fear. And it's the combination of those elements that make a tragedy, according to the Greek philosopher Aristotle. So keep that in mind as you go through your midterm review. Um, you can also go back and look at the quizzes it is very possible that a quiz question also appears on the midterm. Just saying. So the great part also about taking the midterm online 
is that you can use your notes. Now it's a time test, so you're not going to have the time to look back through the module to find the answer. So make yourself a little review sheet, or even think of it as like a cheat sheet, with the important information for each of the texts. That way you'll have it right there. So on this review sheet, remember that for each text, you should be able to recall where it was written, what part of the world does it come from, what language was it written in? What was the name of the author? If we know, right, the ancient Egyptian poetry, it's not clear what language it was written in and we don't know the name of an author, right? But for many of the other texts, we do. So the place, the language, the name of the author, and the time period. Remember what century these texts come from. Now, if you review all of that information, if you make yourself a little review sheet while you go over through the modules and look at our discussion boards, look over our quizzes and the links in the Oedipus Rex modules, I am confident that you will succeed in this exam. So remember, I'm always available via email if you have any questions. The midterm exam is due May 31st before 1159 p.m. All right, so I look forward to seeing how you do. Good luck.